I didn't say the vowels, I just started with a real open throat and closed it more and more. So he has this doorstep I in English, the E, which is the middle one here, which is just actually the me power uh, being formed very much back in the throat in a relaxed kind of you know position so we also get relaxed listening to uh, a lot of people jam in songs with the a ah uh, ah uh, uh. and then there came <laughs> you know there was a singer lately that had a lot of these e's in her songs and I was very much astonished that she could jam on this one. Eh, it's kind of harder to say than ah, ah, e. e. That one is very hard to form. So when people sing high notes, they don't sing a e. They sing a u, and just they sell the u as a i. And you don't hear it. It's still the the, the, the correct word. <laughs> but they do it, as I just said. Because it's very hard to sing that doorstep, Ivanhoe, E, you know. So Italian operas, they don't really put a lot of D's in there. They put a lot of A ah and O oh and O, because that one is easy to sing. So yeah, he knows how to... Be open and he knows how to be kind of, you know, this willpower thing that comes with the E. That one, in Eurythmics, you just stretch yourself. A gesture with your whole body where you stretch yourself is this E. This one, you would just form a ball. Something open like a ball that's the A in Eurythmics the gesture yeah and it's good he's got the L for life water in there and also he's got a M mm, in there that's the mother and the horse Guaranteeing food, either mother's milk or the horse can carry me to places. The F is like a little jump into the air. It's also energy, short bound energy. That one is just forever rolling, circulating energy, the R. Like a carriage, you roll and roll and roll on. As if though there wouldn't be any, you know, days and nights and you don't get tired. That's the R. The H is a little outburst as well. Because look how you form this. It's done. In your rhythmics, a gesture that would look like a little outburst. It is. It's like... Yes, a little outburst from your heart, this H it is. The R really is a rotation. The L is a like a plant that starts to grow and continues growing because the plant once dies, then it falls down to the earth, it creates earth, and then some other plant sticks its root into that earth. So the L is also a continuation of energy. Water here rolling. The N is a bit difficult. I got it in my name because it's like a downward push. Mm. Yeah. Problematic? 
because when it's just by itself that N doesn't really feed anybody or you know give any nice feelings and what but now that you got it all in one name it's not problematic <laughs> of course yeah it says N I the E isn't there I'm writing it right now but still you hear it so when I say knee kneels never is within that name and I know because my name is Nina Wild and Nina means never close Nina even though all the other letters the E isn't there and the H isn't there you can still hear exactly these two words right R A H M means cream in German. So if he is cream, creme de la creme, that's quality. And that one, oil and stuff, is very high in nutritional density. You know, you don't starve when you get that part of the milk. So the butter milk and all the rest, that's something different. You know, from the cream to the butter, you need to work it a lot. Yeah. So you can distinguish better where you might kind of see him. But at least we know he's not interested in what we all are interested in normally. When the milk comes out, you want to drink it. There you have all the fat, which is the oil in it as well. You just take the cream, the oil out of it because you want to get to butter. So he's maybe not interested in what the masses are interested in, the milk, because he's so very much about the cream, of course. <laughs> My camera <laughs> faints away from time to time. So also, in his name, you have the frame. You just need to put a E and a N to the N, and then you got the frame. So because he, he knows about the setting disease of stuff, the presentation, or let's say... When you put something, a picture, into a frame, it gets a different kind of a outward kind of look. It's still the same picture, but with a frame, artists know that you change the picture. If you have no frame, it looks like just a scribble. If you put a frame, you kind of have, when you have a new sort of looking modern frame, your picture looks different with a modern frame than having an old school frame or old frame. Artists know that. 